Jennifer, that was, you know, it was wonderful. I mean, I couldn't tell you how much you blessed me by the way you sing. I mean, it, the heart is there. I mean, and without the heart, it, it means nothing. It was just beautiful. You know, uh, Jennifer, I could relate to, uh, I just want to say this, if, if you don't mind. I'd like to tell you a little bit about something about I, my exposure to Christian music. And, you know, when I was a baby Christian, I had a wonderful brother in the Lord, Hector de Villa. He's with the Lord now, actually. He, wow. he went to home to be with the Lord. But, you know, he took me to these uh, little storefront churches, Spanish churches. Wow. And I didn't understand a word of Spanish at the time, but Hector used to translate for me. But I, I sing myself. I do minister for the Lord. And, and uh, I would sing there a cappella in English. Wow. And it was Hector who first thought, he told me, he said, Lou, don't you ever stop singing. And I've heard, yeah. I heard you say that. And it reminded me of Hector when, yeah. when you said that earlier when I was speaking to you before the, the, we started the program. Yeah, and... Uh, it's wonderful. Jennifer, it's, it's just wonderful. I, I can't tell you much how much I've been blessed by your music and, and what you're sharing with me because it's encouraging. And I know that it's going to be encouraging to our viewers. Yes. You know, so uh, is there anything else that, uh, how did you, uh, is there anything you would like to elaborate a little bit more on as far as, uh, Oh, exactly. I know you do. I, I, I remember you telling me in this in this CD you have English and and Spanish. And Spanish. That's yeah. right. That's the, wonderful. The majority of the um, CD is in Spanish. Okay. Um, out of the ten songs, there's two in English. Okay. And um, in the future, I'm sure you know this is not the last of many. I'm sure it's going to be um, more. I know the Lord's going to put that more in my heart. Um, but I do want to do an English album, and I always want to keep it bilingual. There are Spanish um, people out there that don't speak a word of Spanish. So I, my main focal point with the help of the Lord is to reach out, young and old, and English and Spanish. Amen. And that's maybe wonderful. in the future in another language, who knows? <laughs> hey, hey, why not? You know, that, that's great, and, and it is great because... You're reaching not only the English speaking, but the yeah. Spanish speaking, and and your heart is there. I, I mean, I, I see it, and I'm sure our viewers are going to see it, you know, yeah. in your music. And, and that's what we're here for. Yeah. You know, it's not about us. Right. It's, it's about others. It's all about God. You know, the Lord put us here for, for other people, and it's to, to minister to them and open up an, an avenue. And, and, you know, the music, when I first started, coming to church as, a, as a, a baby Christian. The music was wonderful. It just filled me to overflowing, they I can't tell you. I, I keep hearing, and, and I know for a fact, that preparation of music when you, when you go to church, that's, that's where you prepare to hear that Word of God. Yeah. And that's where, you know, I think people need to realize, you know, get to church on time to hear your praise and worship team. Amen. Um, you don't need all these major instruments, um, but that's where it's at. That's where you enter his gates with thanksgiving. That's right. And you, you just leave all your cares behind. I was once told, um, just as there is a, a pail for the umbrellas, and, you know, just think of them.